everybody, what's up? It's Kiki, and welcome back for another video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, become part of the Kiki Squad. While you're at it, hit that notification bell so that you are notified when I post new videos, especially when I post videos like this. Today, I'm coming at you guys with my fall fragrance faves. Say that three times fast. I actually have way more than the ones that I have right here, but I'm just going to narrow it down because if not, we'll be here all day talking about fragrance because I love fragrance, especially warm cozy gourmand sweet fragrances so this is definitely my vibe most of you guys know i live in miami so we don't get co cold weather but we do get some cool nights some cool early mornings which i never catch but just knowing that it's fall makes me want to grab all my warm and cozy sweet gourmand scents some of these i haven't worn since last fall some of them are new and some of them I've mentioned many times before. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so you're going to notice a common bond between my fragrances. They might have sandalwood. They might have tonka. They might have saffron. And they're definitely going to have vanilla. Up first, fave from last year. This was the first niche fragrance that I paid full price for. So I definitely really, really wanted this. I blind bought it. I didn't even smell it before I bought it. Or did I? I don't think I did oh my god angel share by killian definitely a fave last year it was a fave when it first came out it is an amber vanilla fragrance it is unisex most of my fragrances are the top notes are cognac middle notes are cinnamon tonka bean and oak and the base notes are praline vanilla and sandalwood if it got like a nut in it praline a nut right i love it and this i love Tell you the truth, I've worn this on like night out all year long, but it gets its, its shine in the fall and winter. And I'm not going to spend too much time, I'm going to try not to spend too much time on each fragrance, but this right here makes me happy. We'll go with another oldie but goodie. It doesn't look like I've worn too much out of this. Originally when I bought this, I bought the original and the intense. This is YSL Libre, Libre, Libra. You choose one. I've heard them pronounced all different ways. I was in Macy's, I think, and I saw a, a commercial in there and it said Lieb. So, I've heard it pronounced many different ways, but this is the original one. It smells so good, but lately I've been into mixing fragrances. And this mixes so well with another fragrance that I have here. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you probably already saw Not TikTok. Instagram, you probably already saw it. But YSL Lieb is an amber, ombre, is an amber foie gras. The top notes are lavender, mandarin, orange, black currant. Middle notes are lavender, orange blossom, and jasmine. Base notes are Madagascar vanilla, musk, and cedar, and ambergris. It's really heavy, so it gets to shine better like when it's colder. So it, it doesn't like make you sick because like if a fragrance is too heavy, or too strong it can make you feel nauseous and this would definitely do that like in the hot months but when it get a little cool why it's a liquor is your girl she's for women but she definitely give bde okay fave did you guys expect not expect this to be in here it was going to be in here regardless this i can wear all year long but because this is the one that i was talking about pair so well with ysl leave Oh, y'all don't have to wear this all all year long because this is my man favorite scent and this is none other than baccarat rouge by 40 dig straight y'all know i have a lot of fragrances so i buy fragrances in a small bottle if i can help it and it's barely a dent at the top i don't know if y'all can even see but it's a, barely a dent you don't need much oh my god this smells so good this 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 tickles my spot. I know in Atlanta, a lot of people say that you can smell Baccarat everywhere. But in Miami, I really can't. I can't smell Baccarat. I probably smell Baccarat twice on other people. Like, I've smelled Cloud and knew it was uh, Cloud. This is that girl. Will always be a girl. Don't even have to tell you nothing about it. I'm sure you guys already know all the details. But why not, right? Baccarat is an amber floral. Top notes are bitter almond, saffron. Middle notes are... Egyptian jasmine and cedar base notes are ambergris woody notes and musk if something has any of those notes in it I'm most likely to check it out just to see if it's hitting like this. I'm going to talk about these two Kaoli fragrances 
one is vanilla 28 and one of the new one love fest burning cherry 48 it took me so long to finally get a fragrance from the house the first fragrance i bought was a sample or not a sample uh someone was decluttering their bottle on macari i was like okay i get it that way bought that one and then went and bought a full-size bottle gave that one to my cousin i have every scent except two but i have them in a small size but okay vanilla 28 uh, amber vanilla fragrance its top notes are vanilla orchid jasmine middle notes are brown sugar and tonka bean base notes are amber amber wood musk and patchouli this is good on its own i like it on its own because it's like real cozy real sweet real like cuddle fragrance but i love to mix this i mix this with almost everything anytime something needs just a little something extra vanilla 28 the newest one which is love fest burning cherry which i compared to tom ford's lost cherry and i still do but this is a much cheaper alternative some people say it smells just like lost cherry some people say it don't to me it does maybe a little slight hint different but i still get lost cherry so i'm not changing it this definitely gives me lost cherry but Mix this with this, Ugh. mix this with anything, Ugh. and then lately I've been mixing this with a fragrance that I did not like until I mixed it with this. Love Fest Burning Cherry is an amber woody fragrance for women and men, so this is considered a unisex fragrance. The top notes are Burning Cherry, Raspberry, Bergamot, middle notes are Praline, Heliotrope, Damask Rose, Jasmine Sandback. Base notes are Palo Santo, Tonka Bean, Guac Wood, Haitian Vetiver, Patchouli, and a few more things. It doesn't seem like it's that complex, but it, the staying power of this is not as long as some of the other K. Ali fragrances. I think the ones with the clear, oh, except for this one. The other ones are intense or extreme. So up next is Velvet Tonka by BDK. When I originally got this, I did not like it. It's so powdery. now by itself i'm seeming to like it i guess because i've worn it a couple times that it's it's giving right now <laughs> mm. Mm. but originally when i bought this it was like spring i bought this off of macari girl i am a macari shopper you hear me i have four bond fragrances i've purchased none of them from bond we'll get to bond when we get to bond but velvet tonka and love fest burning cherry i follow perfume diary on instagram and she said this was a good layering combo this smells so good i can't even remember where i wore that maybe to the concert i don't remember i know i put the picture from this in the wrong vlog i actually used it in the vlog after that vlog but what else velvet tonka for men and women it's a unisex fragrance the top notes are almond orange blossom middle notes are top tobacco rose oil base notes are tonka bean bourbon vanilla amber wood and amorous i don't know what amorous is but i don't know which what note it is that gives it like that powdery scent but it smells so good like i was contemplating giving this to steven for months now I never put it with his fragrances because i still wasn't 100 percent sure and now there's no way i would have gave him this I don't know what happened between spring and now, but baby, it hits. It hits different. Another BDK fragrance, which I also got from Macari. <laughs> this is Grisha Nap. Some people say this smells like Baccarat. I don't see how. I have no idea how to get that. It is a amber spicy fragrance for men and women. It's unisex. Top notes are cardamom, fig, black tea. Middle notes are iris, bourbon vetiver, and base notes are sandalwood and tonka bean that dry down even the top notes top and middle notes smell so good but that dry down it's just sandalwood and tonka bean but the way it's mixed baby this i can even see on my husband like when i picture a fragrance on a man my man i picture it on his neck like me smelling his neck and how that would make me feel yeah 
I can see him wearing this. He can't have it though, but. Mm -hmm. What they say, panty dropper, panty wetter. <laughs> Why well, I seem like my whole collection is niche? That's because a lot of my designer fragrances are more floral, fruity fragrances. That's why. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. This fragrance I got from Amazon. It is Latafa's Oud. I think it's Latafa. Oud for Glory. It is the dupe to Oud for Greatness. This is like Baccarat but with spice. And more wood and more spice. That's what this gives me. This is a unisex fragrance. Its top notes are saffron, nutmeg, lavender. Middle notes are oud and patchouli. Base notes are oud, patchouli, and musk. Definitely not. The, only the top notes are my vibe. If I was only going by the notes. It is so good. I've smelled oud for greatness. Oud for greatness seem more masculine to me. Oud for glory is masculine too. But this is definitely wearable for both men and women. Especially if you don't. Sorry about that. My card cut off and I don't know where I was at. But I definitely recommend this if you are someone who loves like something real masculine. But not too masculine. That it smells like it only belongs on a man. This is definitely a good unisex fragrance. Cuddle me. Get in my neck. Get up under me. I smell like a cookie. I smell like pastry. I smell like caramel. This. That is this. This is Lyra by Zerzhov. I haven't worn this since last fall. So, well, I haven't worn this since last year, fall, winter. So, I cannot wait to break this out. This is like popcorn and movies, cuddled up, real, real intimate, real, real close. That's this. An amber floral fragrance. Top notes are blood orange, bergamot, and lavender. A lot of people say it smells like a lemon cake. Ain't even no lemon in here. It is orange. Bergamot orange. Lavender. Middle notes are cinnamon, licorice, and jasmine. Base notes are caramel, vanilla, and musk. This will get you eaten alive. Yeah, I said that. I don't even want to wear this out of the house. Just cozy, comfortable, hugging, cuddling. Yeah, that's Lyra. I've talked about this a few times. This is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I have it in a one ounce. I have it in a half ounce. I have it in a smaller one that I keep in a purse. This. Love this. Yeah, this is one of my favorite fragrances. Honestly. This is a floral fruity gourmand. And I think it, because it's a gourmand, it what gives it that fall. But you can wear this anytime, child. The top notes are wild berries. The middle notes are honeysuckle and jasmine. Send back. Base notes are caramel, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. Did you hear those four base notes? That is meat in a bottle. Those four base notes. Add some saffron in there. Praline. Ooh, I need to go make me a fragrance. I need to go make me a fragrance. Because baby. Them six notes I just named. You're going to have to fight them off with a stick. If I don't know what to wear. And I just want something just to grab and go. 99% of the time. This will be something I just grab and go. And these are cheap. You can find these like at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Walgreens. Victor and Roth's Bum Bum. Look at that. Got dust on me. I ain't wore it since last year. But this fragrance makes me happy. This is a floral fruity gourmand. Its top notes are peach, mandarin orange, and orange. Middle notes are caramel, orange blossom, and jasmine. Base notes are amber, sandalwood, guac wood, and cedar. This I'm definitely going to put to the front of my collection because... Yeah, I can't wait to start wearing this again. Loved it last year. Loved it the year before when I first got it. And I've sold a lot of fragrances that I, my nose have changed that I don't like the scent of them anymore. But Bon Bon, I'm not going nowhere. This is a half ounce. You can't tell because, baby, it's little. And I think these cost like $90 on Le Labo. This is Le Labo's Tonka 25. I got these on Macari. I also have the one in a, another 13. Definitely was influenced by Peyton to get both of these. Oh my God. Tonka 25. She's that girl. My husband and I went to dinner and I had this on. Both of us just kept talking about how good I smell. Tonka 25 is a fragrance for men and women. So it's unisex. And it doesn't have like top note, middle note, base notes. It just has musk, cedar, tonka bean, orange blossom, cyrex. What did it say? 
Styrax and vanilla. Can't even describe what it smells like. It just smells so good. Like this could be like an everyday fragrance. Another 13 could be like an everyday fragrance. I love that one too, but that one is I wear that all around. I just recently got this one probably like a month ago. So I'm gonna be tearing this up. So this is probably I'll probably be getting the full size, you know, birthday, Christmas, something like that. Love Tonka 25. So this isn't a fragrance, but I'm gonna mention it anyway. This is Nest Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil. This is everything. This is my secret weapon. When I'm feeling a little frisky and I want to be shy, I don't want to initiate, I'll put some of this on the back of my neck, on the back of my kneecaps, on my ankles. Mm-hmm. 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 It goes down. When I got out the shower, hit those spots and let it do its thing. It only has three notes listed, which is vanilla bean, vanilla orchid, and coconut. I don't really smell any coconut. Do I smell coconut? Not really. Get your hands on this. That's it. That's all it is. If you guys watch Kyra, you would know this was inspired by Kyra. Now this, which is Bond number no. 9, New York Nights. It's my only small size Bond fragrance. But I purchased this a while ago. A long time ago from... um. Makari, I know there's like some racist things going on with the owner of Bond. So maybe that's why like the people who I've been purchasing from are selling, getting rid of their Bond fragrance. But I'm giving them my money, not Bond. Like I listened to R. Kelly, not Robert. Like I like Kanye West, not Ye. You get the picture. There's something in here that just did not tickle my fancy. New York Nights by Bond and I. It is an amber vanilla fragrance, unisex. Top notes are gardenia, carnation, and jasmine. I think the top notes is what get me because it's all floral. I don't like it. Middle notes are patchouli, flowers, and sandalwood. More flowers. And the base notes are caramel and coffee. Those were the notes I was trying to get to when I originally got this fragrance because I was like, oh, caramel and coffee, I'm going to like that. Like I love Killian's. I think it's Black Phantom. Love that. Got it from my husband. But I figured this would be something that I would like. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The dry down. Love it. Can't get through those talking mid notes with all those flowers. Watch Kyra's video. And she was at. I don't know. Me and Kyra don't have really the same. Mm -hmm. I would say we do. She likes Baccarat. She likes Bitter Peach. She likes this combo but that ebony woods uh-uh i never wore it i bought it i have it i've never worn it i keep saying i'm gonna try it and mix it with other stuff but every time i go to grab it i put it back down i pick back up i put it back down i forget which store she was at and the sa at bond recommended these two as a layering combo well i already had this so i went on the hunt to look for a sample of this now this rec uh, retails for four something. I think four sixty or something like that. Girl, not me. I ain't never paid that much for a Bond fragrance. When I'm Macari, I found it for more than half off. It smells really, really good. But every time I sniff it, I want to smell it on my man Nick. But I wore these two together, and I see what she was talking about. These two together, bomb. I did get this one, two layer with this one. But I would have never purchased these at the same time just to layer them. Yeah, it's them. It's those first notes. So the top notes are bergamot, flowers, and coriander. Citrus and floral, not my vibe. But middle notes are ambroxan, apple, vanilla. Base notes are ambergris, tonka bean, and woodsy notes. See, both of these in the dry down. I'm still giving this one a try. This was the last fragrance I got. It's still pretty new to my collection, so I haven't worn it by itself. I've only worn those together. And an honorable mention will always be Bond of an Eye Tribeca because that's my fave. She's top two, not two. Well, maybe she is two. Baccarat is one, but she's definitely top two. I have some more over here, but this video is long enough. Maybe I'll do a part two. Let me know some of your fall fragrance faves. And let me know something I should try out. I know it's a lot of new fragrances out. 
if you guys watch my vlog my mom wants me to go find me a fragrance but i don't know what to get um i did smell a few other fragrances but nothing caught my eye everything was like fruity floral and i like more of a amber woodsy vanilla kind of fragrance so i hope you guys enjoy i love you guys and i'll talk to y'all later bye Cleansing my soul of addiction for now